What's up guys, Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, quick tip about how to create copies between different points in Rhino. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is actually a tip that was buried in one of the uh, Rhino beginner tutorials on their channel, but it's something that I'm gonna find myself using a lot. So say that we've got a mullion like this one that's going into an opening, and we want to create a copy of this mullion right here to this midpoint. Well, that works fine if we type in copy and we wanna pick the point that we wanna copy from, which is the midpoint. And as long as there's a point in here that we can inference to, right, like a midpoint, then this works great. And so you can see how eventually, if you move your mouse in here the proper way, it kinda picks up a midpoint, but it's not doing a super great job. So what we wanna do instead is when we use the copy functions, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna activate that copy tool but what we wanna do is we wanna go into the object snapping toolbar. So if you right click, go to your show toolbars and you make sure that you've toggled on object snap right here, there's an option in here that we can activate that doesn't show up in these options called between. So if you find the between on the copy function and you could probably type in underscore between as well, notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a copy of the object between the first point that you set and the second point. And so when I click on the second point right here, and then I don't understand what the third click is looking for, but if you just click on this end point right here, it's gonna create that copy. And so then we could do it again. So we could do a copy, we could do a between. So underscore between right here. And then you can set this point right here. And you can click in order to create that copy. Then when you're done, you can just hit the enter key right here. So now you've got these uh, mullions that are in here spaced between these points. Now, if anyone knows how to use the between function on like an array, I would love to hear about it because I'd love to be able to split this and automatically create like one, two or something like that. I don't know how to do that, but maybe you do. All right, so that's the end of this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you want to see more of these quick tips in Rhino. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.